Last night the lights went out in Georgia. Whoa. Yes, 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 boys and girls, the crazy old man show is back. Oh, do we have a shitload of ammunition for today's show. First off, some a bunch of RICO charges in Georgia last night against Trumpy Dumpty um, and his cohorts, Rudy Giuliano and a, Giuliani and a bunch of other fucking people. Um, yeah, come on. Now we got like what four indictments going on. Him spewing off all over the place about judges and things like that. Everybody's against them, and all Democrats are Marxist and commies. Um, not for nothing, Donnie, but you were the guy who spent like an hour behind closed doors in Russia with Putin, and when you walked out, you were wiping Putin gluten off your chin. And weren't you the guy who jumped the, the militarized zone in Korea to swap spit with King, Kim Jong, whatever the fuck he is? Yeah, yeah, you were the guy, dude. So you calling Democrats communists is a pot calling the kettle black. Really is. And the other thing I don't understand is the blind loyalty to this asshole. I mean, let's see, what did he accomplish under his watch? Wasted a bunch of money trying to put, put up a wall that they're now tearing down and scrapping. Um, caused over 300,000 deaths in America because of his lack of response to the COVID crisis. And his, his response was to either ingest or shoot bleach into your veins. Um, all this other bullshit or basically denying science and all this other shit. Oh yeah, wonderful guy. And... Let's not forget about his bragging about his sexual prowess, because um, an old friend of mine is a former sex worker in New York, and she confirmed what Stormy Daniels said. 250 pounds of dynamite with a two-inch fuse. That's all he is. One pump chump. So there's your guy. Again, I don't, un I don't understand the, the blind allegiance to this guy. He's done nothing for this country except divide it. He's done nothing. Uh, part of the reason we're having all these wildfires and shit like that is basically because he took a lot of controls off of stuff, environmental controls, and let his buddies pollute, pollute, pollute. And we're getting the tail end of it. And I just want to see justice done. I'll believe justice works in this country when I see him and uh, the cross-dressing cousin fucker Rudy Giuliano, Giuliani behind bars. That's what will restore my faith in the justice system. And for those of you saying, oh, this guy's a fucking Democrat, no, I'm not. I can't stand Joe Biden either. Um, we don't need an 80-something-year-old president, and I believe Mitch McConnell said it best when he said, so yeah, we don't need these people. Um, also, uh, my heartfelt uh, uh, sympathy toward uh, Dianne Feinstein as she tripped in her house over a pile of packed money and injured herself. 90 years old, lady, stay the fuck home, all right? Stay home. You're too fucking old. You barely have a pulse. And let me share a Diane Feinstein moment with you. When she was either mayor of San Francisco or something like that, uh, she was pretty much of another anti-porn person, which I despise. And it seems that the Mitchell brothers put her home phone number on the marquee of the O'Farrell Theater in San Francisco. So that's a Diane Feinstein moment I will treasure. Um, but anyway, you know, going back to Biden, it's like, okay... You know, they're investigating your son, all right? Your son's a junkie, your son's whatever the hell's going on. You helped your son. Okay, let's not hide this shit. You know, he called in favors. So I don't think you're qualified to run. I think you should be replaced, not only because it, you know, what your son's doing and all this other bullshit, because of your age, because you're not with it. And you're going to be 82 years old when you run. We deserve better, but of course the Democratic Party is all for the Democrats, and you know, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they dug Hillary Clinton out and dusted her off for a third fucking shot or whatever that was doing. I mean, they all suck, every one of them. Um, Joe Munchkin from West Virginia is, is hinting a run. Yeah, vote for Joe Munchkin, you people of West Virginia. Do you know that he drives a Maserati to get on his yacht? Danny, you have a Maserati or a yacht? No, but you keep enabling these motherfuckers by voting them back in. Uh, someone said, what would I do if I was in charge? Well, number one, I wouldn't want to be in charge at 70 years old, but if I was in charge, um, first thing I would do is, if you're over 65 and still holding office, guess what? Clear out your fucking desk. You're out of a job. We need people who are for this country, not for the Republican Party, not for the Democratic Party, for the fucking United States of America. That's what they're elected to do. They're supposed to serve us, not the other way around. And... 
you know, all these Trump supporters think, you know, they, they sort of identify with him. Why? He's a schoolyard fucking bully with a big mouth. His main goal is to become president for life, like his buddy Putin. He wants to be like one of those tin star fucking dictators down in South America that got a chase, chase full of fake fucking medals and stand there and have parades in their honor. And a lot of this shit should have been the end. First, the mocking of a disabled reporter how many years ago. And then when he visited uh, servicemen's graves at one point and muttered under his breath, they're suckers, what's in it for them? You know something, dude? You dodged the fucking draft. You never served your country. You have no fucking balls. The only balls you have is from the people who shore you up because you incite all this shit and then like the true bully that you are, the true coward that you are, you watch the insurrection from a TV set in your fucking office. You weren't leading this insurrection. You were you were watching it because you, st you, st you started the fire and sat back to watch the blaze and fortunately for the United States, the blaze burned the fuck out. It won't happen again. You think these DC cops are going to put up your people's shit again? They're not. You're in a fucking jackpot. You got RICO charges against you. And honestly, I want to see you and Giuliani in a fucking cell swap and spit. That would be my fucking dream. Then I'll believe the American system of justice works. And as for the other ones, Democrats, you better find somebody better than Biden. Biden is not going to win. All right? And the other thing is that amazes me that all these Republicans that are running for president four years ago had their lips firmly attached to Donald's fat orange ass, and now they're blasting him. And Donald's the one who won't sign the fucking, you know, oath of allegiance to whatever to get rid of Biden or whatever you assholes are doing. But I'll tell you one thing, I do look forward to this debate, and I hope Trump participates, because this is going to make the Jerry, this is going to be like Jerry Springer show on crack with all these people attacking each other. And in attacking each other, they're not saying what they're going to do for the country. None of them are saying what they're going to do to help the country. Their whole fucking purpose seems to be, you know, upholding the overturning of Roe versus Wade and eliminating the LGBT community and other fucking things like that. Forget about the veterans out, out on the streets that are homeless. Forget about the homeless situation in general. Forget about the fucking inflation that's running wild because things aren't getting fucking better. It's all about two fucking things. We need somebody who's going to fix this country, not further divide it. And I don't see that person out there at all. Period. And, you know... The only reason Joe Biden got in was it was a hold your nose and pull the lever of vote. Because we didn't want him. We wanted Bernie Sanders. Because Bernie Sanders would have done something for us. You know, God forbid that Trump got in. If Trump had gotten in again, you know what would be happening? We'd be fighting alongside the, the Russian soldiers in the Ukraine. That's what would have fucking happened. So wrap your heads around this because this isn't fucking bullshit. And I'm reveling in the fact that he's got a RICO charge over him now. <coughs> and also... I'm laughing at the fact that Giuliani has one, too, because this was the guy who prosecuted all these fucking New York mobsters under the RICO Act, and now it's turning around and biting him on the ass. So, yeah, I'm the crazy old fucking man. That's my opinion, and uh, have a nice day, and remember, be careful who you vote for, because voting for some of these people is like petting a fucking rabid dog. It will turn around and bite you on the ass. Have a nice day.